Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, the last few days I've just been feeling a little bit under the weather and kind of recovering from something and you know I've just been resting, sleeping, uh, just tr generally trying to make myself feel uh, human again. And today I was just lying on the sofa watching a couple of films and I was thinking I'm kind of starting to feel a bit better. Um, you know, I'm kind of starting to feel a bit better. Maybe I could you know, put on a little bit of makeup to make myself feel even that bit more better. So um, yeah, so I decided, sure, I'll do a tutorial. Um, it's just something light, something, you know, not a lot of makeup. You don't want to be putting a whole lot of product on your face, but yet sometimes a girl just needs to feel a little bit nice and a little bit pretty or something. You know, um, well, for me anyway, the last few days I've been wearing, well, no, this is the first day I put on a hoodie, but I've been you know, wearing really comfortable clothes, really loose fitting clothes, um, in my pyjamas, I'm in my, yes, I'm in my pyjamas, and I have been pretty much since Thursday, and today's Sunday, so, yeah, I just wanted to feel nice. So, hopefully this uh, makeup tutorial will work out, and yeah, stay tuned, thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with a clean face and I've put on some of my normal moisturiser which at the moment is, um, a sim I think it's just simple, it's just a daily moisturiser with SPF in it and just because my skin is feeling a little bit tight and a little bit dry, kind of dehydrated, I'm also going to put on my um, Clinique Moisture Surge to make my skin feel a little bit. A little bit more hydrated. So once that's all uh, patted into your skin nicely and you know kind of well I think the Clinique Moisture Surge kind of makes my face feel more plump um yeah I don't know if it really works but it's nice sometimes. Um, next I'm going to put on my uh, Nux Rev de Me um, lip balm because my lips are also feeling a little bit dehydrated so yeah Sorry if I keep looking down, it's just my mirror. On to the foundation. Uh, I'm going to use Bourjois Healthy Mix, uh, the serum, the foundation with serum in it. Um, I'm using the shade 53. It's a really, really, really nice uh, light foundation. Kind of light to medium. I'm going to rub it in with my fingers because, I don't know, your face just likes... I feel like my face just likes to be massaged and pampered. Especially when I've been feeling a little bit poorly, so... Yeah, uh, and your fingertips uh, soften the, the product and it makes it kind of sink into the skin better. Sometimes, even though I love makeup brushes so much, sometimes it's nice to just use your fingers uh, as long as they're clean, of course. So, yeah. uh, next, move on to your eyebrows. As usual, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Palette and I use the shade Buck, which is this one here. Um, it's a matte, uh, it's a dark matte colour. Um, I'm just going to speed this up because it's the normal way that I just fill in my breasts. Uh, for today's tutorial I'm going to use uh, a new product of mine. A new product that I own is the Wet n Wild uh, Comfort Zone Palette. Here it is. Um, as far as I know, uh, Wet n Wild has just been launched in Ireland. I think it was sometime in January, maybe it was February even. And I picked up this palette in Dunn stores, and I think, I think it was six forty nine. Um, I haven't used it. I have, of course, stuck my finger into the my clean finger into the palette and just tested um, the consistency. And so far, to me, they seem uh, really buttery, really soft, and easily blendable. So. Yeah, so today's the first day I'm going to use it and let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to start with the eyelid colour. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It is this kind of pinky colour here. And I'm going to use my Sigma um, E55. It's the just the eye shading brush and I'm going to put it all over my eyelids. I'm just going to put it all over the eyelid. And it doesn't matter if you get it up uh, kind of into the crease. So I'm just going to... Just go a little bit. I'm going to take the crease colour, which is this colour here, and it's just like a nice uh, shimmery brown, brown colour, and I am going to put it 
just in the crease, just blend that colour into the crease and just to define the eyes, give them a little bit more shape. For the moment I'm just going to use the brow, the brow highlight and I am going to place that just under my brows, kind of, you know, give it a little lift to your eyes. I'm going to use a tiny bit of the definer, which is the bottom colour here and it's like a deep, a deep brown with a lot of, um, with a lot of kind of, I don't know, I'm going to say pink. Yeah, kind of pink shimmer in it and I'm going to use just a really, really, really small amount and I'm just going to put it just in the edges and I'm going to use my brush um, instead of using windshield wiper motions, which I normally do, which is like across like this, I'm going to do this little kind of, you know, on this, on this back kind of circular motion just here to kind of put most of the colour there and then, and then I'm going to use a clean blending brush, which this is my, um, I think it's number seven, yeah, my number seven eyeshadow blend and contour brush. It's an, it's an okay one. And I'm just going to blend out the, those. I'm just going to use that to blend, blend. And then take out my um, E40 again and... Okay then, and then for under my eye, I'm just going to use a very small amount of the crease colour. I'm just going to just end it under my bottom eyelashes. My waterline, I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandal Eyes at a 005 mm -hmm. brightens the waterline, which makes the eyes appear whiter. And I'm not going to say more alive, but you know, that's So now the next brightening product I'm going to use is the Catrice uh, Made to Stay Highlighter Pen. And I'm just going to... Use it. You can use this. Uh, you can use this under your eyebrows if you like, but it's just a little bit too shimmery for me today. Um, I'm going to use it in the inner corners, and I have actually used it before here on my cheekbone, and it blends quite nicely. That's it there on my hand. I'm going to take it just a little bit under here and blend with my finger, and then in the other side. Curl my eyelashes and apply a couple of sco <laughs> and apply a couple of coats of Benefits uh, the Real Mascara and use my number seven eyelash curler. So I'm just going to speed it up again. And talk to you in a sec. Now I'm going to conceal under my eyes, just, oops, a little bit too much, and <laughs> another spot here, and I don't really have spots there, but I have a little bit of markings, so I'm blend that in with my finger. Even though I've concealed, I can still see um, my redness here and some spots. Actually, I probably should have put some on here, but but I just don't want a lot of uh, product on my face, so that's why I'm not going to do it. But, you know, if you if you don't mind the feel of it, go ahead. Sorry, I've just been coughing. So anyway, um, onto my cheeks. Uh, just to put a little bit of brightness back into my cheeks. See, I said brightness again. Anyway, I'm going to use Benefit uh, Posey. And it's just, a, a like, you can use it for your lips or your cheeks. And it's a liquid uh, blush or liquid colour. Um, so I'm going to just... Uh, Kind of three spots and I'm going to use my clean fingers and to blend. I don't know if you can see that there my, I'm trying to sort out my lighting um, at the moment everything looks really white I uh, just can't see the defined just color. To give, just to give my cheeks another dimension I am going to put on a small amount of um, Elf's I'm going to put on a small amount of Elf's blush in PG oh in <laughs> sorry in PG Keen um, it has a small bit of shimmer in it and it's a very sheer blush so I find that it doesn't give a lot of colour and that's why I put the Benefit one on my face first just to give my face a little bit of colour and then I'm going to put this one on over to give it that lovely um, glowy look. So let's take a little bit of that, tap it off and... Oh, 
so now we're actually on to the last phase, phrase, no, the last phase of this look. Um, and that is the lips. You don't want anything heavy. You don't want lipstick, lip gloss. Well, maybe you do, but I don't want anything heavy, I, I'm going to say. Um, so I'm going to use one of the Revlon lip butters, which, you know, they're buttery and creamy and light on the lips. And they give that little bit of colour. So I, I use the shade um, 025 uh, Peach Parfait and I have peach on my cheeks. So it kind of ties the whole look in. And yeah, so that is the finished look. Um, I'm looking forward to getting back on the sofa and relaxing because for some reason I just feel exhausted even though I haven't done anything pretty much in the last, in the last three or four days. So. like to thank my mommy for the lovely tulips behind me which she got me for my recovery thank you mum and yeah uh, for anybody who is sick out there i hope you guys feel better really soon and thanks again for stopping by bye, bye.